Hello everyone, this is the day 11 of the flow degenerate running. In this day, we will talk about that decision table or the decision builder. So decision builder is available for multiple purpose, but we are going to discuss about flow designer point of view. So first we have to talk about that what is the flow designer decision builder and then we'll discuss further. So in the flow designer decision builder that helps you to make perfect decision based on certain inputs. So let's understand an example. Let's say that you have an asset type called laptop and then desktop and then you have a another field called manufacture and that is a apple and then HP. So you have a manufacturer called apple and HP and you have an asset type called laptop and desktop. So based on combination of these two fields, there will be an output or result and that will be based on this condition. Now, if you see this table, we have an asset type called laptop and if the asset type is laptop and manufacturer is Apple, it will go for approval for hardware group. If it is a desktop and then manufacturer is Apple, it will again go for the hardware group. But if it is laptop and then manufacturer is HP, it will go for the hardware. But if it is in desktop and HP, the approval will go for the cab approval. So this is a based on the these two inputs. So these two are input and this is a output or we can say the result. So based on these two input, we have a output or we can say the result. Now question is that can we build through the if and else block? Yes, we can build that through the if and else block. But let's say that tomorrow they don't want hardware, they want to a cab approval. What will be happen? We need to be update our flow, right? For that, we have to be update the flow. But if we build in a tabular format, we don't need to update our flow. We just need to be update this value in the table. So that's the reason service now came up with a concept called decision builder or decision table. So let's go back to the service now and see how we can build that. So this is the catalog item we have discussed earlier like asset required where we can put the 5 or 4 or 3 based on that it's supposed to create the asset. Now here we want to build an additional thing called asset type where we can select the laptop or desktop and then manufacture is Apple or HP. Based on that it should go for additional approval right. For that we are going to build a decision builder and that decision builder we are going to uh, use in our flow. First thing is that how you can build the decision builder to create a decision builder or table you can type that decision uh, builder here you can see under this decision management we have a another module out of box module called decision builder where we can create our decision builder table. So this is like a completely table uh, custom table like we created a table but it's uh, have some additional features service now provided to do through the UI. So we can create a create new decision table. Let's say we'll click that and then I will put the table name called asset result. Something like that. I'm just putting that and then click create and continue. The moment we put that table name, we need to define that input and output parameter. So let's say what are the input? The first input is the asset type and second input is that manufacturer, right? So we'll put that, uh, you know, uh, asset type, the first input, I'll copy that and then put the input name called asset type. What is the type? The type is the choice. And what are the value that in this asset type, we have a laptop and desktop, we'll select that laptop and desktop. So I'll put the laptop and desktop. So if you see that this L and D are in a small letter, but in our case, L and D are capital. So I need to update their backend value. So I'll put this A in a capital and D in a capital. So this uh, is our input. And then what is the another input? Another input is the manufacturer. We'll copy that manufacturer, select that. And then here, this is type also choice. So you can, depending on your use case, you can select that. And here we have, uh, you know, uh, see what are the choice we have. The choice is the Apple and HP. So let's put that Apple and HP. So these are the choice. And again, if this needs to be updated, H and P is in capital and A is in capital. So I'll update that A is in a capital and then H and P are in capital. So these two are our input parameter, right? 
and you can see that we have a decision table so these are the input and based on that we are going to put some output so this is our result column and this is the conditional column so if you see this diagram we have a four row you can see laptop desktop laptop desktop apple apple hp hp based on that we have a result so we have a four row we need to be create similarly four row let's go back and build that so here in this conditional block we'll select the plus sign what is the condition the input i will select that asset type so i'll say that asset type so if asset type is i'll click done so if asset type is a laptop right so it asset type is laptop and manufacturer is apple i want to make a decision right so i'll this is the one condition another there will be another condition so i'll click add condition column and this time i'll say that manufacturer so i'll say that manufacturer and input is the manufacturer done so if asset is a uh, you know uh, laptop manufacturer is apple there should be a value that should be hardware group so i'll click add result column i need to create a result column so let's say that um, uh, approval group so this is our result column and this type of this approval group is a reference we'll select that reference and which table it is referencing sys underscore user underscore group table so we'll select that and click done so now you can see that we have um, the table at, table that you are seeing in our ppt similar type of structure we have created there in our service now now we have to put the data for laptop apple um then hardware like that we have to build that so i'll select that value so here i'll put that if laptop asset type is laptop and then manufacturer is apple what will be happen the group will be hardware group so we'll select that So that is the first input. Now we can create another input. So we can click that plus sign. That's what we are saying that. And later, whenever we think that we need to be updated, we can just come and update that based on our condition. So we just updated this, uh, you know, our decision here. So this is our decision. And whenever we think that we need to be updated there, we just need to be updated here. We don't need to go to the flow and do update that. So this is our decision condition and this is our result block. Now, if you see that if I order that, I should generate an additional approval. For that, we need to make some changes in our flow. So let's go back to the flow. So we'll go here and then type the flow designer. And we have created this flow or catalog flow earlier. So we are going to use that. If you have not watched my previous video, how I created this, catalog flow i would suggest that go and check that so let me open this existing flow for this catalog item so this is our catalog item flow called asset request that we have created earlier and if you see this uh, flow structure you can see the first it will uh, you know get catalog variable then it will set for and here it is setting that approval so this is a manager approval and after manager approval we can uh, generate a group approval so i'll click that plus sign and then we'll click that action and then here we can um, you know go for there is ask for approval and then we can uh, you know generate a group approval right so we can generate a group approval so we'll say that this is a group approval Okay, now in this group approval, we have to be select the records. So we'll select that RITM, trigger record RITM. And now if I scroll down, I need to be select that uh, the rule. So let's say that anyone approves from the group will be uh, approval will be done. Now question is like, like who is going to be approved? So based on input, I need to be uh, approved. Based on input and output, I need to be uh, approved. For example, somebody selected laptop and somebody selected manufacturer is Apple, it should go for the hardware approval, right? So these things has to be built. For that, if you go back, we need to get this dynamic value approval, right? 
For that, what we can do, we can click this plus sign and then here we can click this flow logic. Under the flow logic, we have a make a decision. So we can click this make a decision on this logic. And the moment we select the make a decision, we need to be select this, uh, uh, the decision table. What is our decision table? The decision table is the asset result. So we can select this decision table here and select that. Okay. And here I can say that um, approval decision or this is a decision level. We can put that called um, same thing called asset result. Now, if you see that there is a one option called, you know, so if you see that we need two decision input, one is the asset type and another is a manufacturer. How do we get these two decision input? These two are actually that catalog item variable. So these two are catalog item variable. And if we click that asset type, get catalog variable, we can get that asset type. So we are going to map that. And similarly, I am going to map that manufacturer. So we'll go and map that. Okay. So this, this is done. You can see there is a one checkbox called use branches. So this is checked by default. If you click OK, you can see that I should be able to get uh, two branches, one result for hardware, another result for cab approval. So there is two branches. Uh, you can see there is a two uh, combination of result. One is the hardware, another is the cab approval. For that, we get two branches. And then if we want to move this group approval here, like I can move here or uh, here we can copy and do certain action. So this is the one way we can create the branches automatically it create the branches and then it can be uh, here it created branches and it can be done. So this is the one option. So this is a decision table based on the decision. It will go by this one or this one. So we can do that. That's the one options. Else if you want to match that, what you can do, we can just uncheck this one uh, here, use branches and done. So what will be happen? The branches did not create it, but it will return some result that we can utilize. So we will go for ask for approval and then what should be the value? Value should be come from make a decision and decision table record and decision result element. We can select that and then we can select as approval groups. So what will be happen? This is not a, it did not create a branches, but actually it's, uh, you know, working as a uh, another set of um, approval dynamic approval settings so we'll get the result from the decision that result we are dynamically set that either you can use the branch or you can equally march and uh, do that okay so we'll just add the stages called waiting for approval again i'll say that stage is waiting for approval and save and activate that so let's understand one more time. We have uh, added a, uh, you know, decision, um, make a decision flow logic, which is we are pointing to this, our decision table. So this is our asset result decision table. And these two are unique value. One is a cab approval, another is a hardware approval. Either we can use the branches or we can use that combination of the data that can return our data. So we are going to ask for approval, which is nothing but group approval. So this approval is a dynamic value and that is coming from our decision table. Now we don't need to be update uh, if we want to change this permission combination. We can simply update in this table and that can affect our flow designer. So let's raise a request and see that. For example, we are raising the laptop and Apple, it should generate a hardware approval. Let's see. So we just need to be refresh that. We'll select that asset required five and then as per the rule laptop Apple, it should go for the hardware. So we'll select the laptop uh, Apple order. So it should go for hardware. So first it will go for the manager approval and then it will for go for the group approval. So let's see. First it go for the manager approval. I'll approve that and it should go for the group approval secondly. And you can see it's generated the group approval, hardware group. So this is how it works. Now, if we uh, raise a request called desktop and HP, it should go for the cab approval. Let's see.
now you can see it's generate a cab approval based on this desktop hp it's generate a cab approval now later if you think that we need to be update this value you can update that with this table we don't need to unnecessarily update that um, actual flow so we can just update this table and that can be affect our flow so yeah that way we can uh, make a decision and we can implement that uh, decision builder so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you very much have a great day